So I've been testing the SCN55 environmental sensing kit and um, I have two of them. So I have one connected to the sensor bridge, which is then connected directly to the control center provided by Sensorion. And you can see I'm getting readings from the sensor. The second, um, second sensor I have here is connected to an Arduino board via I2C. And this is more indicative of what, um, or sorry, more indicative of how I'm going to use the sensor in the final product. So I'm really excited this works. I'm getting this, um, getting the sensor to, um, getting the sensor to communicate with the Arduino was really simple, mostly because um, Sensorion provided a very convenient sample code, a very convenient sample code on the GitHub repository. So I've just cloned the repository and set it up on my Visual Studio code. So you can see I'm getting sensor readings from the serial monitor. And that's coming from the Arduino board connected to the sensor via I2C. That's sensor one, sensor two. I am having um, a bit of problem with the PM2.5 sensor. If you look here, you can see, um, okay, this is PM2.5. This is, um, okay, this is just a breakdown of the particulate composition. And then we have VOC, NOx and temperature and then humidity. Well, you can see here the PM2.5 sensors, um, the range from one to 10 works fine on the control center, but from the Arduino, I'm getting just a constant value for all four, um, for all four data points. So okay, I think PM, PM1, PM1 changes a bit, but PM2.5, PM4 and PM10 you just have the exact same value. I'm guessing this is probably um, an error in the way Arduino has configured um, the sensor. You know, the, um, the configuration is done via I2C, so it's most likely just a code problem or definitely just a code problem. So I'll probably spend a few more, um, I'll probably spend a few more time trying to figure that out. And if I'm unable to do that, I can always just reach out to Sensorion. I'm sure they will have a solution for me. But yeah, I'm really excited to see things working just fine. And, you know, being able to connect a development board directly to the sensor is really what's important to me. And I'm happy that works well.